guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Bidet's Insight. My name is Mide Blaze, and today I am so excited to be here because it's a new year of the school, and I know 2020 was all shades of bad news. You know, we all had high expectations of how we wanted our year to be, but it was funny how everything turned out. But we're thankful for life. It's a new year. We would um, go back to the drawing board. We have new rules, new goals, new everything. So today I have Kibele with me. Hi guys, my name is Aisha Ahmed Ibrahim Kaladima. Moshe Upo. Alright, so I'm so excited that you actually made it here. You're actually the first female to be on this show. Oh wow. So that's a pleasure. Alright, so today I intentionally called you here because I want to try to find a balance because I don't want it to just be from a guy's perspective. I thought about talking about the things that you know we do as guys that upset you girls. Hmm. And the things that you do that upset us. I know that for I know those things that we really do get in my head that you people do. So I just want us to try and find a balance and marry, you know, try to reconcile. Hmm. So I want to ask you, what are the things that you see that your, that men do that you really do not find it cool. Ah, oh. hmm. men. Which one is men? It's a whole lot now. I have to start right, thinking right. and thinking, okay, let's start with this. Okay. Men. Okay, to start with, generally, we humans are naturally flawed. Okay. We're born to have mistakes, we're born to have our flaws and, and the rest. But, for me personally, I don't know about any other lady or girl out there. Me personally, I think I just have a few. Yeah. Um, let's start with. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have anything against. <laughs> eh? You guys are the. No, we don't have anything against. Let me start with All right. insecurities. All right. Ah, she you see that insecurity issue. Ah, it's 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 really bad. For every accusation, for every accusation you are bringing to us, mm. make sure you come with your proof. Ah. So if you are saying you are insecure, or she, if you are having insecurity issues, you should start by explaining what exactly. Are we? Let me. Are we elaborate? Okay. Let me. Let me first list them out. You see insecurity. You see mm. obsession. You see this um male uh, male um uh, just say domination. Okay. Nigerian men. Nigerian men, like Nigerian men, you see that domination, it's just in them naturally. They just feel okay, it's natural for a guy to be in charge, like naturally, yes, it's just normal for a guy to be in charge. But you see that domination, they want to be in charge, they want to be the everything, they want to be, ah, yes, you're supposed to fear me, yes, I'm the man in the relationship, you're supposed to, you're supposed to fear me, you're supposed to worship me. I don't think it's right, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair, I don't think it's balanced, like, Within, okay, in a relationship between the man and the mm -hmm. woman, I, I feel th th there has to be a balance between these this things. Like, okay, let's say mm. I'm dating this guy now. Mm. You expect a level of submission from, from me. What about you? Okay. What about okay. you? Okay, so let me, let me defend. Me let me oh, yeah, defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. I personally feel like this thing because I, I if I if I'm to get something correctly from what you said, yeah. I would sense that you want you want a, 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 a balance. A balance. Kind of. No, the but respect will be there. Think, the respect will be there, but do you think this balance is even achievable? I'm not saying it is achievable to Why some not? it is achievable to some point, right? But you don't generalize and assume like all guys are naturally dominatory. I know a couple of people. That are in relationship and they, they, they try to give um, they try to give as much audience to their wives and to, to their yeah, women yeah. as much as they can. So I still feel like it's from it's every relationship is unique. Mm -hmm. Every um, relationship has its own style. Style, yeah. So it's about who you are with and not just about you generalize. What I find really annoying about um, ladies is the fact that mm. firstly. Everything is annoying about women. Excuse me. Everything is Excuse annoying. me. Okay, okay. Let, let, you give me let, let's walk it. Please. You let, give me I might interrupt you when we're talking. 
So please let me land. Let's go. So this is what I do. Women are generally just like they are like that. Maybe from the, sometimes it's not from the angle of they just want to be annoying. I understand that. But sometimes it's just from the angle of um, being too, worrying too much. They are naturally dramatic. Yeah, it comes with us. We're naturally dramatic. Even Eve herself was dramatic. Because the, the, the only because I'm from a family of three, okay. right? And we are all boys. So the only female that I've really gotten to spend a lot of time with is my mom. Yeah. And trust me, sometimes she's my mom, but she also gets on my head as well. She gets on my Because I sometimes I just want to move me a calm down, be calming down. Because you are thinking at home, you don't see that you feel like, oh, I wanted this, I wanted that. I just feel like you guys, sometimes it's just about how you people drive your, com- uh, your, con- uh, your communication. I feel like the, communi- uh, the communication is not really strong from, yeah. from your side. You don't do well. I, I'm one of those people that strongly believe that it's not about what you say, but how you say it. Yeah. There should be a way of you passing out your message out there and me getting it without necessarily, necessarily uh, coming as being defensive or trying to be the head. Trust me, I feel like uh, you can imagine having drive, you know, having a car and there is nobody to drive it, mm-hmm. or having a car without anyone being there to have it. Mm-hmm. I still feel like someone needs to step up and play the head. Definitely. So you don't you don't call that being dominatory, but for women, I find like you guys are just natural. You don't know. I feel like it's just. Can I correct you? Why not just dramatic? Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you about dramatic. Okay. Yeah, it comes with us. Like, it's not just. It's well, okay. yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> the thing is, okay, I just feel you. every lady is really sensitive. We are very sensitive. No, every lady is very sensitive. And for a man that wants to be in charge, okay. you should be able to perceive like when something is wrong with your woman. A woman doesn't need to open her mouth all the time and that like, yeah, oh, can he come, can he come, is this, 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 that, that, no! From our mouth you can't tell. If you give me the right energy, this I is, this is where you are getting it from. This is where you are getting it from. Let me tell you this, you are, you are, you, this is a mistake that I feel like a lot of people are guilty of. A lot of women are guilty of as well. Okay. Because you assume that I know what is going on in your head. Okay. I am not God. There is no way I can know what is going on in your mind. So I feel like you should do more when it comes to communication. If I'm a woman, you should say more with you. Do you know I something called? No, do you no, know something no, called most? I, I, no, I personally, I personally, hmm? I perceive it when my man is not in his right state of mind. When I, I perceive it from a distance, I know from his tone. Okay. Of course, like when he talks to me, I know oh, something is wrong. Oh, my man doesn't sound this way to me on a regular. So from there, I go, oh, something is wrong. Oh, why are you sounding this way to me? Why are you talking to me this way? Oh, babe, why are you doing this? What, what, what's up with the attitude? Okay, so I, I think it's all. I, I don't, I don't well, want to. Well, maybe some of you are just. I don't want to just... know too so much on that point. I want us to go to something else. Okay, I'm coming now from the angle of women in terms of responsibilities. We want yeah. to take responsibilities. Okay. Women do not really like taking it, especially financial responsibilities. Uh, oh, so most of us are very independent. Uh, most of you, you are independent. How many percentage of people? How many percentage of women do you know? A lot. Are independent. A lot. Like my can I have friends. Can I have a statistic? Mm, should I say um, on the scale of hundred? I'll say in my own circle. Okay. In the scale of hundred, I'll say in sixty. Sixty percent. Yeah. You are trying to be passionate. Uh-uh. You are trying to be passionate. Uh-uh. 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 I'm being, I'm being honest right now. I'm being no, I'm being no, I'm being honest right now. In my circle, like I said, in my circle, six percent of ladies are like independent, and um, most of us, like me personally, I, let me know. I, I'm not going to speak for anybody. I'm not going to speak for any lady. I'm going to speak for myself personally. Like I'm this kind of person, hmm? and I'm just a guy. I don't need to ask you, I don't necessarily need to ask you, oh yeah babe, I need to make my hair, oh babe, oh this is dress I want to buy, oh babe, the, uh, my makeup is me, oh babe, my... I don't, I don't necessarily need to ask you because um, I don't think I have that um, spirit of entitlement. So, no, it's, it's a very bad thing and that spirit of entitlement, no, I do I don't even want to have it. I'm not interested to say anything, but I feel if we are in a relationship, we should share that, <laughs> okay, you. I think the relationship has a partner shape to start with. So it's, it, you don't really be all about the, my responsibility to do everything. 
I will do it fine. And you should also understand that some men do not like it when you constantly tell them. But why do I have to ask? Why do I have to ask my man? I feel like it's about how you drive your communication. You want me to I just need to calm down and listen to you. Okay. Okay. It's about how you drive your communication. For example, you want you know your man. You for example, myself as an example. I don't like it when you constantly ask me, oh, come and do this, come and do this. I want to do it by myself without you ask, uh, having to ask me. Because when you ask me, sometimes you make me feel, uh, make me feel like I'm irresponsible. irresponsible. Yeah. So I want to do it when I feel like, when I, I know, uh, this, I know there is a loophole somewhere and I know that I need to step in here. Personally, I will not ask you man for money. I just feel common sense. Should make, you should tell you, oh, yeah, my woman needs a new shoes. Oh, my woman is going for, oh, for the event, she needs a new dress. But when, 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 when the man doesn't do all this, do you have any problem with you? No, I don't have a problem if there's this communication of, oh, babe, uh, I'm so sorry, I haven't been able to, like, you know, to step up. My responsibility is to spread me in case now the cash, and I'm a very understanding person, so I'm honest. Oh hey, yeah, you can give me. Okay, fine. No, no problem, baby. No problem, it's fine. But when it now becomes regular, like it becomes your thing, you do it all the time. This is wrong. It is wrong. I am not. Then okay, wait. I am not disputing your point. Wait. Okay. You don't do for your own man. But you know, definitely, another man outside will want to do it. Then when another man outside is now doing, you not start getting angry. You not start complaining. You not start saying things. I feel like there, Brother, is, there is something that I've picked from this conversation. There is nothing you are there, is, there is something I've picked that women can never stop being dramatic. What is Being yeah. on stage with you, I think I feel like that's one thing that can never be experienced from a woman. Because you you need to so, hold on, hold on. The kind of child that I am, let me start by you know by saying this the kind of child that I am, right from when I was growing up, I don't like it when you constantly come to me and yell at me. I don't like no, it. When, I don't like. I don't like it when you come to me and you scream at me. What I like is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay. The same thing I expect in my relationship. When when we are having issues or when you feel like there are things that I, I should do that I'm not doing, I feel like you should call me and tell me, Yo, babe, what's up? I feel right. like this is not cool. Why not do this? Why not do this? It's about how you drive your communication. Okay. Trust me. I just feel like you people just. Can I want to now? Okay, Lady, are you trying to tell me that I have to sit my man down to tell him that ah, baby, you, you're not be buying me toilet juice. Ah, baby, you, you're not be ah ah. If you, if you, common sense, it's not common actually. Why would I have to tell you that? No, 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 we really just cannot afford our. It's not as if we can afford our television and stuff like if, that. If, 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 hold on, hold on. If you were not in a relationship, mm -hmm. trust me, you will take care of all these responsibilities. Uh, of course. And with that entitlement spirit that I do not like, that I do not want, and I want us to at least you know. I also don't agree with that um, spirit of entitlement. Like I said earlier, I don't. Okay. I don't agree with that entitlement. It's it's not your rights. It's a relationship, like you said, it's supposed to be like a partnership. Partnership. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fine. That, yeah, you're very fit, you're very fit. Like, that understanding has to be there. We should be able to share, we should be able to support each other at every level. Right? But when it's now one sided, honestly, it's not fair. Okay, no, there is something that I will keep from this uh, discussion is the fact that we would never reach a conclusion concerning men and women. So mm -hmm. I think it's been, it is a problem that has always been there from like since, since forever. So okay. it's, and it will yeah. always from there. So oh, I, I just, my so. own. I just wanted to give your final word before we we, we because you know this is this is probably has to be like this probably has to be a season on its own. Talk, talking about you know. Gender issues and all of that. So please just give your final word before we go. Uh, okay. Dear men, please <laughs> take care of your woman. Like, you have a woman. Okay. Take care of her. She doesn't need to act. Don't, even, don't wait for her to act. Just take responsibility. Do the best you can do. Do your bit and leave the rest. Like, you don't have to do everything for her, but that needs to support. A real woman, an appreciative woman see a man try and I think I'm that kind of woman okay thank you so much Aisha for coming thank I'm you so, so much excited for having me. And, I, and I do believe that we'll get to do this some other time again 
Uh, before I move, I would just like to say this. My one final word is, uh, like I said, I do believe that it's not about what I strongly believe it's not about what you say, but it's about how we say it. Say it yeah, true. Whether as a man or as a woman, I know some men that really do have a loose mouth. And I know women as well that have loose mouth as well. I know you know it could be any way. So uh, just try to know the kind of person you're dealing with. Yeah. Know how to handle it. Design a method that suits you. Don't follow because I feel like that's one thing that women are guilty of doing as well. Mm -hmm. They keep comparing yeah, to true. this relationship to another and relationship. Don't no, with that. every relationship is unique, yeah. and whatever works for you might not work what for her. Person, so true. just be happy in whatever it is you are. Try to make the best out of it. And till I come your way again, I remain with it, please. And if you want to follow me or hi shall on any of the social media platform, I'm at Midday Blaze and she is at Isha Gala D Ma it is E E S H A G A L A D I A. Alright. Yeah, that's my own final word and yes, And also for ladies please for ladies please understand your man. Understand your man when he doesn't have, understand your man when he's in need. Also support your man. Don't always wait for your man to be also do for your man. Alright, well said. Yeah that's our final word. Bye-bye.